Uh, Professor, a lockdown in the township, I would think, would really not exist. It really cannot work because we're talking about areas where you find situations where there are people living, uh, you know, a, a lot of people living in one house and there's a limited space. That's right. There's a high level of crowding in townships, which makes many of the protocols and other measures that the government has tried to introduce really unrealistic. So we need a better strategy, particularly going forward. Uh, encouraging people to wear masks and wash their hands is not really, doesn't offer much inspiration or hope for people living in very poor circumstances. Mm. What would you suggest, Professor, for instance, that besides the sanitization of hands and the wearing of masks that, um, you know, needs to be done in areas such as, for instance, Alexandra? We basically need to uh, invest more in these places. And in particular, we need to invest in two, three, four-story housing to give people more living space and to free up space at ground floor level for better public services, for more open public spaces, the children's play areas, parks, the gardens, and so on. So we need to build upwards and improve the quality of housing. That's really all about investment. That's why I make the distinction between pure population density and economic density. Economic density includes, as I say, investment in physical structures. Mm. Now, of course, the investment in physical structures is not something that government will be able to do tomorrow or even next week. So could this see us go back um, on a much stricter uh, level of lockdown? That's the risk. If we get another surge, that government will imp impose another lockdown. It could even impose it on the hotspots on the townships and, and you know, leave the suburbs alone, which is, is not very fair. So we do need to think about, um, you know, have a plan for the longer term. I accept that um, you know, new building is not going to go up overnight, but at the moment we don't have a vision for what we want to do in our townships and informal settlements. All we're doing is saying, you know, it's a problem, the virus has exposed these inequalities, but we haven't heard a compelling vision from government to give people, you know, real hope that the future offers a better prospect than the present. Mm. And, Professor, I mean, this is, uh, I assume, it's not a plan that uh, will only help us during COVID-19. It's something that's been discussed even f before we had the pandemic, and it's something that's going to be needed even after we found a vaccine for the pandemic. That's right. It's going to, <clears throat> this kind of idea of economic, it's a number of challenges, all sorts of public health problems, are linked with density, are linked with crowding, not just the, the virus. A TB and other health problems are associated. But it will also create employment and livelihoods. We need to you know, give people skills and create jobs by building better in the townships. Building back better is a really good metaphor for what we could do in our townships and informal settlements. Well, thank you very much, uh, Professor, Professor Ivan Turok. Uh, thank you very much for your time, sir.